Welcome to Myth and Folklore. In the most ancient layers of Greek mythology, Echidna, Echis, meaning she viper, was called the mother of all monsters. Echidna was described by Hesiod as a female monster spawned in a cave, who mothered with her mate Typhus, or Typhon, every major monster in the Greek mites. The goddess Phias, Echidna who is half a nymph, with glancing eyes and fair cheeks, and half again a huge snake, great and awful, with speckled skin, eating raw flesh beneath the secret parts of the holy earth, and there she has a cave deep down under a hollow rock far from the deathless gods, and mortal men. There then, did the gods appoint her, a glorious house to dwell in, and she keeps God in her armor beneath the earth, Grim Echidna, a nymph who does not know grows old all her days, usually considered offspring of Tartarus and Gaia, or of Sito and Forces, according to Hesiod, or of Trissa, and the Nate Kalahau, or Paris and Styx, her face and torso of a beautiful woman was depicted as winched in a Chegvi's paintings, but always with the body of a serpent. She is also sometimes described as having two serpent's tails. Paul Karani noted an a Chegvi's painting with a pair of Echidnis performing sacred rites in a viney yard, while on the opposite side of the vessel, goats were attacking the vines. Shphonic Echidna is protector of the viney lord, perhaps. The sight of her cave of Roma, Homer calls the clutch of Typhus. When she and her mate attack the Olympians, Zeus beat them back and punished Typhon by sealing him under Mount Etna. However, Zeus allowed Echidna and her children to live as a challenge to future heroes. She was an immortal legless nymph to Hesiod, but was killed when she slept by Argus Panops, the hundred-eyed guild.